Hi guys, welcome to another episode of 100% Walkthrough Dark Souls 2, where today we're finally going to be going to Dread Lake Castle after fighting the four arch demons. So in the last episode, we um, killed our fourth and final one, which was um, in Brightstone, which was the Duke's Dear Frager, I believe she was called, it was the spider. But anyway, if anybody's wondering where to go after this and where to get to Dread Lake Castle, you've got to come back to Shaded Woods, to the second bonfire, and come up to... Um, this area where we fought like a boss which was from No Man's Wrath, but anyway, this is a thin passageway up to the left, and here's going to be Shrine of Winter, now we're going to be able to open this door. There's also, uh, an optional way to open this door if you didn't want to kill everybody, which is having a million souls, or souls memory, I think it is. But anyway, obviously this is the legit way, so we're just going to do it like that. But before continuing, we're going to come down here to the right, and get the spell repair and something else. Also, there's another item over here. Uh, a little bit further on, we're going to find another Hades Knight, one of these white guys just sat down. This one's actually a bit more resistant than the rest of them. Uh, still shouldn't be too hard. I believe we get the um, lance or spear from this guy, so make sure you go and pick that up. Uh, from here, just going to continue straight. There's pretty much just a straight path. <laughs> there's an item up here on this wall, and me being the idiot I am, thought you couldn't get it from the bottom, so I tried here like at least two minutes to try and jump up and get it, but then I realised you can just get it from the bottom. But anyway, so now you guys know you don't have to act like a total idiot like I did. But anyway, now we're just going to continue through this um, tunnel here. There's not, not much to discover in this place, so don't bother like checking for invisible walls or anything like that. But anyway, uh, once we're halfway up these stairs, we're going to get ambushed by like a few of these guards defending the castle on this platform. But anyway, they're quite easy to take out. They do do quite a bit of damage if they hit you with their swords. But anyway, behind this rock, there's going to be an item. I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, like I said, like I say on all the videos, I'm sorry if I repeat myself for people that do watch all the videos, but I, I vice over the preview on Sony Vegas and it's not massive, so I can't really see what items I pick up. And that's why I say I don't really know what they are sometimes. I already remember where some of the important ones are from picking up. But anyway, up there we did kill Crystal Lizard, and now here's going to be um, Emerald Herald, which is basically just um, continuing the storyline. Just going to be here waiting in the entrance of Dren Lake Castle. But anyway, up these stairs, there's going to be these two um, elephant guys, like the people in um, Faris's Doors or Doors of Faris, whatever. Right, so this next place to open the door, you actually have to kill these um, minion type guys beside these two statues each side of the door, at least getting one soul in each one of them. Like, so they um, lift their part of the door up or their lever up, and that way they will open the door. So as you can see here, I kill this guy near him and his soul goes towards him instead of me and that will activate him so he can open the door. But before open, before going in the door, sorry, we're going to come around here to the right and come and open this chest over here. <coughs> but anyway, once we've done that, we're going to go into the door. There's nothing on the other side, so don't worry about that. Uh, watch out if um, enemies do follow you in because to the left there will be... Like, I'm not sure if it's an infinite spawn, but they seem to come from there quite a bit, even though if, after you killed a lot of them. But anyway, in this place, uh, before continuing, we are going to go up either side of the stairs. And it's going to be an NPC here, which is kind of invisible. It's like a ghost. Uh, this guy's actually going to be a shop as well. And also, he sells you the sword, the flame burge. Or the flam burge, I don't know how you want to pronounce that. And teaches a gesture. So go and talk to him. Up here, straight ahead, there's nothing really interesting through this door. It's just a throne room. And there's nothing to do here. So there's no point of coming up here. But anyway, now we're going to make our way back down to where the um, phantom guy was. And we can either go either side of the stairs. It's going to be the same result. So just pick your side. There's going to be enemies both sides. Uh, we need to make our way to the back of the stairs. And there's going to be a long hallway room just after you kill these guys. Uh, if you're going for spells, these guys really do defend all the time until they attack. So you kind of got to wait until they try and attack you if you want to land a hit on them. Just be careful of these guys. They're not extremely powerful. You know, they can kill you in pr probably three or four hits. But anyway, there's the room at the back. It's going to be like a long um, hallway. You can get here from either side of the stairs. Like I said before, it's going to be the same result. Like here, now I go under the stairs. Uh, after I kill these guys, I think it is. <coughs> I just got under the stairs just to prove that you can get here from either side. Here and I'm the other side of the stairs and we're going to be in the same long room. But anyway, once we've killed the three enemies in here, the door to the left is a dead end with literally nothing in it at all. Um, so don't bother being... It's kind of meant for a trap. Like if you come in this side see the enemies and try and escape, I don't think like 
you can um, get out of there once they've trapped you in there. But anyway, uh, the only door we can come through is to the one to the right, since the other two don't do anything, can't even be opened. Um, so we're going to come in here, there's going to be two more enemies, like the normal, um, I'm not quite sure what these enemies are called, I just call them like the minion guys for this place, even though they're quite strong for minions. But anyway, once we kill them, we're going to come down this ladder here. The In the next room, there's not going to be any enemies, even though uh, slightly after this, we will see statues exactly the same as this that will um, come to life and attack you, but you shouldn't worry about these guys in here. But anyway, after opening this door, we're going to open the door exactly um, straight in front of it. And there's going to be our first bonfire in Drain Lake Castle. So make sure you rest at that and don't continue without um, going through that door. But anyway, from here we can either go to either the left or the right. If we go to the left from the bonfire, we're going to find a a door that we need the King's Ring on. So don't worry about that. We'll be getting here um, right at the end of the game. But anyway, now we're going to go to the right from the bonfire. So this is probably one of the most annoying rooms in the game if you want to get everything. So basically all these doors open by a soul of an enemy. And that makes... Um, that means you have to kill one beside each door and also at the end you've got to kill some be beside the statues to open the other doors but anyway once we've finally killed all of them um, we're going to go door by door so the first one the first door to the right is going to continue through the level the second one is going to have that chest in it the third one's going to have another chest in it um, obviously I think it's the third one that opens thanks to the statues but anyway that's a ring in there now moving to the left hand side in the first one there is nothing oh yeah i should probably mention that um each time you open these doors not all of them most of them have the um uh, i'm not quite sure what they're called they're the boss from the lost Bastille, where there's three of them together like these guys right here uh, a lot of them have these there's the last door to the left i just want to point out that this um floor breaks through here watch out for that guy yeah uh, there's a suit down here I'll make sure you get this, get rid of this guy. I was rushing this part of it because I had to cut out the last door because I didn't open it accidentally. But anyway, once we're down here, there's going to be another bonfire to our right. Technically, this bonfire is just pretty much just useful to um, get out of the place because there's not really a proper way out back out of this place. But anyway, before we head back out, we're going to go to the right here and we are going to find the Dark Diver guy, the Abyss Covenant. So this is the last place we can find him, and now we can enter the Covenant and do the abyss side quest but we're not going to do that yet so um if you want to do that um get on with that you can get on with that like as soon as you want uh take note that if you are going to decide to do this side quest you are going to have to go back to the other two places which is the black gulch and shaded woods if you want to complete it you're going to have to do the abyss in all three of these places to gain access to the dark lurker which is the um, optional boss in there and that way you gain rank in the covenant and get a few hexes and a, an armor suit. But anyway, uh, back at the bonfire, we're going to come to the right again. This time we're just going to go directly to the first door to the right, like I said before. This is the way to continue. You can just run through without killing anybody like I do, but it does get a bit um, um, dodgy. If you if you do decide to get that um, chest just there, as you can see, I get a bit lucky there and manage to dodge them. Um, uh, before heading up the stairs, there's going to be a few items down here, so make sure you don't miss that. Um, ignore me, I'm just exploring here in the corner. I just like to break everything. But anyway, we're going to head back up the uh, these stairs to continue through the level. And come to this room here, which is... Uh, this statue looks quite weird, but it doesn't do anything. You can't use a fragrant branch of your on it or anything like that, so just ignore that. And continue up these stairs. That's just me just looking out of this window here. <laughs> but anyway. Once we cut the stairs, we're going to come to this um, area with corrosive shit on. So uh, make sure you take off your armor and rings, which I kind of, you know, I just rush through the levels without thinking sometimes, especially when I'm recording. And completely forgot to take my rings off like a complete idiot. But hey, whatever. So just make sure you don't have that mistake. Uh, I do take my armor off, but it didn't really help much. Um, get the item down there, and there's also a chest at the end, which is corrosive urns, if you really think that's worth it. But anyway, there's a dead end, so you're going to have to make your way all the way back here. And continue at, up the stairs, and come out the only door which is available to us, which is, takes us back outside, and you'll be able to see the start of the level from back here. But anyway, so we just want to continue up the stairs. Uh, the next room we're going to come to is a, a room full of traps, which is basically masks, what, fire poison arrows at you. 
Um, it is a lot easier with a shield, but like I said, I'm I quite I'm quite an impatient person playing this game sometimes. And if I basically know I can make it through without a shield, I will try it. Uh, as you can see, I didn't really take damage. I did get poison though, but you know it's not a big deal. Did not have a shield. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna we there was one item in there. We're gonna continue up the uh the stairs and get to that room with those um, guys in it once you kill them we're gonna come out the only door possible to us which is this one when we get to this first tower we're gonna get invaded by a scripted NPC it's gonna spawn behind us just so take a turn around and take him out it shouldn't be that hard but anyway continue up these stairs until you get to a room with two statues in front of us and an archer to our right uh, take that archer out well, but we're not actually gonna continue up the stairs quite yet we're going to turn around and go back to the, um, the start of this kind of room just after the last set of stairs and slide ourselves down this ladder. Uh, on this floor there's going to be one more archer here. There's actually going to be a secret bonfire just here. I'm just going to kill this guy and get this item over here to our right. Anyway, this secret bonfire, um, X on PS3 and A on the Xbox on this wall here and it should reveal a hidden door with the bonfire in it so make sure you like that it really does help especially if you die against the boss which is just up the stairs but anyway before going then um, up there we're going to go down these stairs just here or this ladder uh, take this guy out and open this chest over here to our left we're basically going to be above the corrosive stuff if you want to jump down and get the treasure chest the easier way but to be honest it's not really much different so anyway now we're going to make our way all the way back up to the top and continue up the stairs continue the only way we can talk to the queen she won't really say much she'll just say go and um, get off the king or whatever uh continue through the only path you can until we get to the fog gate there's going to be a boss battle so basically it's just going to be two dragon rider it's exactly the same boss as in Hades Tower flame uh there is going to be one with an archer uh, there's going to be one with a bow and arrow at the start but he'll soon come down especially once you do a lot of damage to the other guy so just finish off both of these, they should be really easy. I mean look just look how much damage they take from my um great um great lightning spear. That's not even the sunlight spear. I believe they they may be weak against um lightning because the sunlight spear didn't do as much damage as great lightning spear. But anyway, once we kill him we're gonna come to the final bonfire of the level. So like that. Uh if you've been doing the the NPC with the big sword, which I think is um, called Jugo or something like that, he should be sat here um, to our left. He'll help us a bit later on, but I didn't do that anyway. But um, for a start, we're going to come down the stairs and um, come to this lift, which we can't do anything about just yet. So um, that's going to be up. There's also going to be the door to our left, which we can't do anything about yet quite either. Uh, so the only path we've got is coming up these... Um, stairs to this ladder it's going to be quite a long ladder to be honest i just fast forward that once we come through this door there's going to be a statue at the end so we're going to want to light that with a soul from an enemy obviously don't try not to disturb all these enemies at the same time maybe disturb three or something and get as much or as close to as possible to the statue so it activates uh just like that um i didn't even disturb one side of the room so you know it's, it should be all right super quite easy with three enemies so what that's going to do is actually activate the lift from before. Uh, technically we can't get back to the lift directly from here because we kind of fell down a little step here. But we could just teleport back to the bonfire if we want to continue through the level. But I'm just going to show you where all the items are and the legit way to get background. There's a few items before we get there including Nestor's flash shards so I wouldn't like do that. But anyway in these chests down here there's going to be a few um, decent items and spells and whatever weapons. I can't really see what they are at the moment to be honest in the preview. <clears throat> but I really recommend getting them. There's no reason why you shouldn't get them so you know. Uh, anyway in this second big room uh, there's not really much in it. There is two chests at the top either side of the stairs. Watch out for the two great bow users at, at the top of each side and get the chests. Uh, we're going to do exactly the same the other side. Uh, the chest this side I do believe is a trap chest with arrows in it so just watch out for that I didn't remember that at the start I nearly got, got myself killed but anyway there's nothing more in this uh, room so we want to come down here and take out these three enemies which are guarding the exit door it's the only way out of this room and the only proper way to get back to the bonfire we, we were at just now to get back to the lift so anyway, we're just going to take these guys out. These guys are really annoying if you're using spells, especially if you don't make them like attack you so they um, get their shield out of the way. 
but anyway. So once we kill them, we're just going to continue through the only path we can, which is through this door. Uh, the other side of this door, there's going to be another great elephant guy. This guy actually nearly kills me at one point, I believe. I'm just so reckless at this game sometimes. I, I get so overconfident after completing the games a few times, I really don't think they can kill me, but they really are dangerous. So I don't really recommend doing that. But anyway, this blue door up here, you can't go through. So don't think like this uh, uh, lever activates or anything. We can come up this ladder here, but it's kind of pointless. It's just to make the path ahead of us a bit easier by taking out the... Uh, these two or three archer guys up here with great bows because these guys will be able to fire down on us once we go through the building beneath it. But anyway, once we've killed them, we're just going to come back and hop off here where the last enemy was and come through this door just here. Uh, we've nearly done the path back around to the bonfire. There's going to be an item just here. Uh, I think it's flame butterflies or something else. I think it's like ten of them or something. And in this one there is going to be our Estes flash shard. So make sure you don't miss that, and we're just going to pull this lever over here and open the this gate, which is finally going to take us back round to the bonfire um, from the other direction. So just keep, watch out for this guy. This is going to be the last enemy, so we're going to come down these stairs, and we are going to be back at the final bonfire where it's at. So now it's time to continue back to the, the path we took before where the lift was up and we couldn't do anything about the lift so now the lift's down thanks to us putting souls into that statue from before so we still can't go through the door in front of us that's actually the way to continue through the level but we're going to get the key just in a second so we want to hop onto the the platform it will take us all the way up to the top it'll take its time to go up so we'll just have to wait until it goes all the way to the top once we're to the top we're going to cover through the only door we can cover through in this room there's going to be three chests, one with the key to the door at the bottom. There's going to be this weird kind of lock which is kind of like a living creature. We will be getting the key for that, I think, next episode. Yeah, next episode we get the key to that and I'll, I'll come back to open that at the end of next episode. Just so you can see what it does, I believe it's just for a ring, it's the ring of the dead. Which I think it's the dead or the living or something like that, which actually just... um makes your appearance always human form even if you're hollow it's not really much important it's just a cosmetic a cosmetic thing but anyway we'll be getting that next episode so uh we're just going to come back to the lift and go all the way back down now we've got the key to this door we can open it and we're basically getting to the end part of this level now uh the after this hallway there's going to be the boss battle but before heading into the hallway we want to look to our right and there's going to be an item on this shelf just here beside this weird looking like um, door and the statue, but anyway, I don't think that means anything. But anyway, we can just continue through. Um, these statues will come alive, uh, not all of them, but at least probably half of them. You could just run through to the boss gate, to be honest. It's quite easy to speed run, just ignore all the enemies. But anyway, if you decide to stay back and kill them all, there's going to be two items in here. There's going to be um, a life gem, which we just seen back then, but I've already got 99 of them, so I'm not going to pick that up. And just there, I believe it's Twinkling Titanite, so pick that up to the right. There's going to be one more shield guy at the end of the hallway just in front of the boss door, so you want to quickly kill this guy. Uh, right, so for the boss, there's actually quite an interesting boss. There's quite a cool mechanic to it as well, uh, apart from just like the normal boss fight. If you put a, a red eye stone down or the red soap stone down in this hallway, there's a chance that the boss will summon you to help him kill um, the, the real people what are trying to kill this boss. Uh, if he doesn't summon somebody to try and kill you, he will get somebody out of his shield. He will summon like a random, like human type look looking guy um, out of his shield, even though it will be an NPC. But I'm just warning you that this boss is really easy. But if he does happen to summon a a real guy, it could get really dangerous, especially if they use the pyromancy warmth and keep recharging his health, and that that pisses so many people off. But anyway, I'm just warning you out there. Apart from that, it should be a really easy boss. Like, just dodges attacks. He's only got, he's only really got one, um, long range attack or anything like that. But anyway, so once we've killed him, we we'll come to this green area over here. There's going to be a chest to our left before heading down the the elevator. There's nothing to the right, and there's nothing in front of us, and that's all there is over here. So now we're just going to rush down this elevator. There is one more item here to that right. We can just break through these vines with our sword or whatever. Um, but that's it, that's um, this episode done, next we'll be taking on the Shrine of Amana, which is probably the most difficult level for a lot of people. Um, there is one trick I'm going to mention in the next episode to get past it a lot easier, 
But anyway, um, continue through here. It's going to get to our bonfire. And this place looks quite cool, especially from up here. It reminds me a bit of Ash Lakes. I really like this place, even though it was really annoying the first time we tried it. But anyway, uh, all the items in the description. If you like this or it was helpful, give it a like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.